Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about use of ICT in inclusive education. Information and communication technologies or ICT refers to all communication technologies including the internet, wireless networks, cell phones, computers, software, middleware, video conferencing, social networking and other media applications and services enabling users to access, retrieve, store, transmit and manipulate information in a digital form. ICT can facilitate early intervention and inclusion for persons with disabilities. Accessible ICTs are one of many supports that can enable the realization and implementation of inclusive education. ICT in inclusive education opens the door to lifelong learning. It enables simulation, role playing and decision making exercises. It facilitates virtual communities and communities of practice. It helps to translate speech to text and vice versa. Use communication aids along with specialized software for classroom activities. So there are some technological tools and softwares that can be used by children with special needs. Some examples are given here. Like screen reader. A screen reader is an essential piece of software for a visually impaired person. Simply put, a screen reader transmits Whatever text is displayed on the computer screen to a form that a visually impaired user can process. Usually text type, auditory or a combination of both. The following is the list of screen readers that one can download. NVDA, Serotech System Access, Apple Voice over JAWS. Next one is text-to-speech assistive tools. Text-to-speech software is designed to help children who have difficulties reading standard print. Common print disabilities can include blindness, dyslexia or any type of visual impairment, learning disability or other physical condition that impedes the ability to read. However, other students can benefit from text-to-speech technology, such as children that have autism, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, or an intellectual disability. The technology works by scanning and then reading the words to the student in a synthesized voice. Using a large number of speech sounds that make up words in any given context with the advances in speech synthesis. Text-to-speech technology is more accurate and lifelike than ever. Next one is assistive listening systems. A variety of assistive listening systems or hearing assistive technology can help students who are deaf or hard of hearing as well as those with other auditory and learning problems. According to the National Association for the Deaf, assistive listening systems can be used to enhance the reach and effectiveness of hearing aids and cochlear implants or by children who do not need those tools but still need help hearing. Assistive listening system use a microphone, a type of transmission technology and a device or computing and bringing the sound to the ear. The specific transmission technology used in the system in typically what contrast 
one type of assistive listening system from another. Next point is ginger. Ginger offers several features that can help students with dyslexia and other learning disorders with writing. It is also designed for speakers of languages other than English. Some of the features include Number 1. Grammar checker that analyzes context to determine any errors or misspelling. For instance, Ginger can recognize whether there, there or they are should be used in a sentence, which is a common mistake in writing. Number 2. Word prediction and sentence rephrasing tools that can be helpful for students learning how to construct sentences properly. Number 3. Text to speech functionality so students can hear what they have written. Number 4. A personal trainer that provides practice sessions based on past mistakes made by the students. Ginger is available for Windows and Mac as well as iOS and Android mobile devices. Next one is Got It. Got It is specifically designed for students with dyslexia and other learning disorders who have difficulties with writing. The name is inspired by the word Gotti, which is a constructed term that illustrates irregularities in the English language and since many spellings are counterintuitive, especially for those with dyslexia. Gotit dedicates itself to assisting children and adults who struggle with writing accurately. It features the ability to learn from the user's past mistakes personalizing suggestions for spellings and grammatical errors. Got it can predict words, check passages of text contextually, read text aloud using text-to-speech technology and recognize split and merged words. It also includes an integrated dictionary for students to quickly look up a word. Now let's see next one is Math Talk. Math Talk is a speech recognition software program for math that can help students with a range of disabilities. From pre-algebra to PhD level mathematics, students can perform math problems by speaking into a microphone on their computer. The program works with Dragon Naturally Speaking programs for voice to text functionality, making it ideal for students who have fine motor skill disabilities, students with blindness or vision disabilities can use the integrated braille translator. In addition to these audience, Math Talk also appeals to students with dyscalculia. The program functions as an electronic math worksheet allowing the child to organize, align and work through problems on the screen making it helpful for students who have difficulties performing math problems on papers. Now let's see benefits of ICD. So first one is easy to access course material. Multimedia is easy to understand. Course material can be posted on the web which learners can access at the time and location they prefer. Next one is motivation. Computer-based instructions can give instant feedback to students and explain correct answers. Moreover, a computer is patience and non-judgmental 
which can give the student motivation to continue learning. Third one is white participation. Learning material can be used for long distance learning and accessible to a wider audience. Next point is subject made easier. Many different types of educational softwares are designed and developed to help users, users to learn specific subjects or topics easily. Next point is easy evaluation. More flexible structure to measure and improve outcomes with proper structure can become easier to monitor and maintain students' work and also make modification to enhance student learning. Next one is individualized learning. Teaching and learning are becoming more independent from specific physical location. The number of resources available to students outside the classroom has increased. So in this way, today we have seen use of ICT in inclusive education. Thank you for listening.